Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to discuss my favorite framework for interpreting information. And the framework's known as the satellite view versus the zoom lens. And this is gonna really, really help you out. I wish I discovered this framework back in my teens and my early 20s. It would have helped me make a lot better per, uh, decisions and gain better perspectives on certain uh, situations that I misinterpreted because I may have been using the wrong kind of lens. So let's just kind of look at these two lenses first off. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So uh, when we're working with a zoom lens, what do we see? If we've got the camera really, really narrowed in, all we can see is ro what's right in front of us. And you can do this with yourself. Put your hands right here. What can you see? You can only see what's immediately in front of you. You can't see anything to the right. You can't see anything to the left. You can't see anything that's above, anything that's below. Um, you can't even see anything that's you know too far in the distance to, to the right and left. So all we gain is a very limited amount of information. The picture um, could be misleading us. Um, it's kind of like looking into a microscope. You can only see the little, little details. Um, let's use me as an example. If you're looking at me from with a very narrow lens, all you can see is my big fat Italian nose. All right, but when we start to widen the lens, we move more out towards a satellite view. What happens? You start to see, oh, he's not so. His nose kind of kind of suits the rest of his body. He's kind of not. He's not. He's not a bad-looking guy after all. But you couldn't tell because you were looking at me from a very narrow framework, from a, from a very narrow lens. But when you started to go broader, you start, you start to see, oh, okay, his nose kind of suits the rest of his body. He's got you know dark skin, dark hair. He's an Italian, so yeah, you know, it looks good on him. So. This, is, this happens every single day when we interpret information, when we listen to people, and I wanna make this applicable to fitness because this is a fitness channel and how a lot of you guys are led astray, including me. It happens to everybody every time and every day. And um, oftentimes I get people emailing me. To be honest, this is one of the most popular emails I ever get. And they'll ask me, Vince, what do you think of so-and-so? And you can fill in the blank with your favorite YouTube channel guy, um, with your favorite author, with your favorite coach, with your favorite bodybuilder, with your favorite fitness model. And you guys, want to, you, you guys want me to know, what do I think of this guy? And I can't answer that because first off, I don't have, I don't know what you're referencing. Are you referring to a small detail about him? Or are you referring to him as, you know, in the big picture. Um, and a lot of you guys, what happens is you'll watch somebody on YouTube or wherever, you'll read an article, and you'll get what I call the zoom lens look for this person. And you'll hear how he eats, you'll hear how he trains, and what's happening is you're getting a very blurry image because that's all you can see because you only watched one video on this person or you only read one article or you only read one comment from this person. So all of a sudden, that's your perspective, all right? But you don't know what else he does because you haven't taken or thought about the satellite lens. You haven't asked yourself, well, what else does he do? What does he do when he leaves the gym? All right, so you fail to get a big picture perspective of the individual. On the flip side, what can also happen is we can get to know people, we can follow people for a really long period of time, and we can take that same you know, fitness celebrity, so to speak, and we think we really know them. You may even know them because they're a friend of yours, uh, because you spend time with them all the time. And you feel like you do have a big picture perspective on that individual. But oftentimes, you don't, there's certain things you can't see because you just can't take that zoom lens on that individual. For example, you can't see that person's blood work. You can't see that person's hormone profile. You can't see that person's metabolism. You can't see that person's genetics. So there's certain things that you can't see which can't be explained. So the, the whole more, I, I hope this came out, <laughs> this is the first time I'm sharing this philosophy so I need to kind of, uh, 
I need to polish this off a bit. I know the presentation of this, this concept wasn't the most elegant, um, but I, I hope you guys understand the importance of looking at things with a zoom lens, but also with a satellite view whenever you're interpreting information. And I think when you start to ask yourself, am I looking at this with a broad enough view or am I looking at this with a narrow enough view? When you start using both lenses, to look at a picture, to look at a situation, you'll be able to make better decisions, okay? And that's the moral of this video. It's a framework that's helped me immensely. And um, if you're gonna start using it yourself, uh, let me know below, share your feedback on maybe a situation where you were looking at something with a narrow lens, but really you should have been taking a broader, and then vice versa. I think you'll find this framework extremely helpful in making better decisions and uh, not being gullible to, or being a sucker and gaining better perspectives on what you see and what you hear. All right, let's go for 500 likes on this video. We're gonna go for a big one. And then next video, I'm gonna share one of my favorite decision-making methods. It's called the 10-10-10 method. And I'll upload that once we get 500 likes on this bad boy. Thank you. Not coming out smooth. All right, today, guys, I'm gonna, ch and you'll get what I call the, uh, you'll get the, this was, um, it's called this, and it helps us, um, into uh, information, uh, information, uh,